Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat Ramadan mubarak to everyone We all sin It's part of the fitrah The nature of the human being But when we When we sin How do we repent? Most people I'm, I'm assuming Think that we just say Astaghfirullah And that's it When in fact there are actual procedures When you sin That you have to take so first of all, there's something called Salat al tawbah So the prayer of Tawbah So for repentance And so the way this works is that And I will show evidence for this inshallah ta'ala That when you do commit a sin What a Muslim is supposed to do First and foremost inshallah ta'ala Is feel guilt So you have to have the intention of feeling guilt If you don't feel guilty for the sin that you've committed Then your repentance Cannot be accepted Because it, as Allah says in the Quran Verily all actions are by intentions If you do an act Like repentance And you have no intentions to back it up Then it's kind of meaningless Subhanallah Secondly you have to make the intention To not repeat that sin Okay Now we all fall into sin the same sin many times subhanallah may Allah forgive us and guide us ameen ya rab but we can make an intention to never do something and also at the same time end up falling into it that again that is a human nature many muslims even great muslims in the past have fallen into this and that's normal but what we're supposed to do is continue to make that intention to want Allah to fix us to make us better and to move on from that particular sin so you make the intention to never repeat that sin and the third condition as well of Tawbah before we get to the actual prayer the Salah of Tawbah is to keep away from the thing the place the people that lead you into that sinning so if you find yourself sinning in a certain place then you have to make the intention to leave that place if you find yourself sinning around a certain group of people or a certain person you have to make the intention to leave that person subhanallah and so you see where i'm going with this inshallah so once all these three parameters have been met inshallah ta'ala um then you go and you pray salat al tawbah it's actually really simple subhanallah it is two rukas and you pray two rukas to allah with the intention of repentance and of course in your sujood in your prostration you repent to allah you seek Allah's forgiveness, you ask Allah for guidance um, with sincerity. And when you finish those two rakahs, it's like the two rakahs, for those who don't understand that word, it's like praying Salat al Fajr, inshallah. Um, so two rakahs, and when you finish with that, inshallah, and according to a hadith will, which I will show, uh, I will show inshallah in a second. Allah is the most merciful One of the tricks of the shaitan I will end with this inshallah Not to make this video too long One of the tricks of the shaitan Is that he will make you believe That your sin Is too great To be forgiven by Allah Astaghfirullah There is nothing There is nothing too big for Allah to forgive There are some scholars Even go as far as saying that Allah Can even forgive shirk And I know there's obviously some hadiths Some evidence to say that shirk may not be forgiven but some scholars have gone as far as saying that not even shirk is bigger than Allah there's nothing too big for Allah and so never fall into that trick of the shaitan whereas you believe that your sin is too disgusting too filthy so bad so evil that Allah cannot help you move on from it rectify your affairs from it and to forgive you from that and never feel shy to mention that sin obviously privately to Allah sometimes people commit such a heinous sin that you're too shy to even mention those words in sujood to mention Allah in the same sentence as that sin again that's another trick from the shaitan we have to be very open with Allah we have to be very intimate with Allah so talk to Allah Allah loves it when he return when we return to him 
Barakallahu feekum. May Allah make everything easy for us and forgive us for our shortcomings and sin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.